other champions in that division. You got Scott Quinn, Carl Frampton, Gary Marie. Oh, Rick and I'm gonna get the opportunity, boy. You working your ass up, don't you? Hey, that's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah, I'm boxing the nation. I see it, baby. Y'all the man. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, I love, love what you're doing for boxing. Thank you, man. Don't stop. Keep on going strong. Keep on going hard. Hey, Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? This is a really good week of boxing. Considering the fact we really haven't had too many big fights in the last couple of weeks, we get some really good ones this week. I mean, it starts off, or I shouldn't say it starts off, but this Saturday, we have the middleweight champion going up against the welterweight champion. Co-main event, we have Roman Gonzalez moving up in weight, facing the undefeated champion, Carlos Cadras, for a belt. That is a big fight. That's a very significant fight. And regardless, if you think the Golovkin versus Brook fight is a mismatch, it's still a big fight on paper. It's just unfortunate that it's not welterweight champion going up against welterweight champion. Because if Golovkin was a welterweight and he was going up against Kell Brook, of course that would be a straight 50-50 fight, right? But it's the middleweight champion going up against the welterweight champion. But with that being said, Kell Brook is still the best opponent on Golovkin's resume, and even Golovkin admitted that. So we have that fight on Saturday. And then we have another big fight on the PBC card, and that is Robert Easter Jr. going against the undefeated African knockout artist Richard Comey. This is another really really good fight a really good fight matter of fact i understand now this is going to be on the um danny jacobs versus sergio mora undercard and don't get me wrong i understand why danny jacobs is in the main event but i feel that this fight could be the main event that's how big this fight is robert easter is one of the best prospects in the sport of boxing and man when you look at the roster when you look at the al Heyman roster it's just unbelievable how much talent they have in that pbc stable robert easter he has the potential to easily become pound for pound one of the best fighters in the world this doll the guy is tall and lanky he can fight on the inside he can fight on the outside he has a uh, a structure he has a build similar to a Paul Williams if I could put it that way but on top of him having that tall Paul Williams type of build once again he can fight on the inside and the outside and he has power as you guys just seen in his last performance where he completely annihilated Arginis Mendez Arginis Mendez a Dominican champion or, or former champion he wasn't a pushover he went 12 rounds with Rancis Bartholomew in their first fight. Of course, then Rancis knocked him out in a rematch. But when you compare what Robert Easter did to uh, Mendez in his first fight, and that was Robert Easter's biggest step-up fight. He ran through him. That was very impressive. Very impressive. So with him being a lightweight and all the competition in the lightweight division, all of the tough opponents... Now you have Richard Comey, who is a knockout artist himself. Matter of fact, he was supposed to be the mandatory for Rancis Bartholomew, but Rancis Bartholomew, he ended up moving up to 140. Now he faces off against Robert Easter. This is a 50-50 fight, guys. Now, of course, I'm going to lean towards Robert Easter because I am really, really impressed with this guy. Very versatile. Like I said, he can adapt to any style. And once again, man, I believe he's going to figure out uh, the puzzle when it comes to this knockout artist, Richard Comey. I haven't seen a whole lot of Richard Comey. I just know that he has one of the highest knockout racials, and he's a, a lot of people have been praising him. A lot of people have been talking about Richard Comey from, um, from Ghana. And you already know the pedigree when it comes to Ghana, right? 
So this is a good fight, guys. This is a really, really good fight. Once again, on the Jacobs versus Moore rematch undercard. You know, that'll be a good fight as well. There's some unfinished business with Danny Jacob uh, or Danny Jacobs going up against Sergio Mora. So this is a really good card. This is a really good card. And once again, it is on free TV. You know, it feels like a NFL type of week, but it's just for boxing. When you have multiple cards that are really good to watch in one week, it's, you know, a good time to be a boxing fan. It's really a good time to be a boxing fan. So I expect Robert Easter to go in there and look very impressive. And I'm telling you right now, if Robert Easter goes from knocking out Arginis Mendez to knocking out this undefeated power puncher who is very dangerous, do you know how impressive that would be? That'd be extremely impressive. I mean, he doesn't even have to knock him out, even if he dominates him. But, you know, if he knocks him out, of course, that just puts the cherry on top, right? So, yeah, guys, tune into this fight. Don't miss this one because this is going to be a really, really good card. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Al Heyman and them, if they put even more prospects on this card as well. I'm not really sure. I just know that this is the co-main event. So that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. 